four people don't just go missing without any reason. So whatever happened, I do believe it was some sabotage. Or when he disappeared, I was around six. I was around my birthday time, uh, right before Good Friday. I remember my mother got this call and she started screaming on the phone. And then she said something like, your father not coming home. He disappeared. All my life, I was told my grandfather was a pilot who disappeared in Cuba after allegedly the plane he was co-piloting was forced land by Cuban officials. I never knew his fate, whether the plane was hijacked or he was imprisoned and or killed. There are allegations of cover-ups and mysteries that uncover other mysteries. I have never seen any records of this aircraft. Record keeping back then, you know, the most we probably would have had was a flight plan. There was no file that showing that any investigation was conducted either by the Cubans or the Americans or, or whomever. So I've never seen a file on any investigation for that aircraft. It says here permission had been received from the Cuban government for the plane to fly over Cuba. A radar sighting of the plane was made at 12.01. So they did enter Florida's airspace. I have an article from the Miami Herald that said it didn't. Not knowing what happened to the four passengers on board that flight left a gaping hole in a lot of hearts and minds, but has been forgotten to the world as someone tried to cover it up and erase this incident. If my dad or any of the occupants of that aircraft was found to be alive, I think that a lot of hell would break loose in a sense of everybody's going to have to answer some questions at that point. I'm just wondering what happened, what could I have done, you know, and so forth, you know, to alleviate his suffering or whatever happened. Our goal is to follow all leads no matter where it takes us. If you have any information that would help this investigative documentary, contact me at info at angeliquerich.com.